What's up, YouTube? This is King Daddy DMAC coming at you. And um, real quick, just wanted to give a shout out for that very cool intro that uh, I've used now twice. Uh, it's made by Chase McAwesome. So definitely go check him out. Does great intros. And uh, here I have an OU battle against the YouTuber Pirate King Victor. So you're going to want to check him out as well anyway to the battle um we both got off stealth rocks and uh he goes for a close combat after that as i go for the surf and um i was kind of surprised he decided to stay in and just sort of really sack his ape this early but um he has the focus sash and i'm going to be able to after uh two close combats take him out with the surf pretty easily so uh things are looking up for me it is an early six to five. And he's going to then go into his She-Hulk. And this scared me a lot because I had to really hope that this guy didn't carry the payback. My only counter form really was Rotom. He goes for the bulk up predicting the switch. And again, this is the point at which it really matters. Um, I go for the Will-O-Wisp and he does indeed carry the Lum. But thank God, he has Ice Punch and no payback. So I know that I'm sitting pretty nicely. There's not really much that he can do. I go for the Willow again, and um, I was pretty sure that he wouldn't have the rest being that he had the Lum. So I was feeling good about that. Um, I'm able to catch his Porygon Z on the switch in. And this, again, is kind of a scary poke, but I have my Tyranitar, and with the burn and combined Sandstorm, I should be able to handle him pretty nicely, um, just with all the residual damage that I'll be taking. Um, he's going to go for the agility, so he is now faster than everything on my team. And thank God he doesn't have any type of fighting attack move. Went for the try attack, which I do actually resist, but it is stabbed, so it does a nice chunk, and he ends up getting lucky enough to get a paralyze off that. That's one of those special moves where it can give one of three statuses, either burn, freeze, or paralyze, and I guess if I had to choose one of them, the paralyze is probably the best of the three for me. Um... I'm going to now set up my stub, sub after having been paralyzed my first turn, so that kind of sucked, but whatever. Um, he's going to be taken out this turn by the combined sandstorm and burn damage, so I'm sitting behind a sub and things are looking good. He goes now into a scissor, and I had enough HP, I probably should have predicted the U-turn and went for a second sub, but I just didn't really want to go too much lower on my HP at this early and I went for the pretty obvious fire um, flamethrower so that kind of sucks I was hoping that he wouldn't think that I was physical and just go for the double bullet punch but bruh. so now here I'm at a point where I'm gonna probably have to switch that's the predictable move I decide just to go ahead and go for the glory go for the focus punch hope that he bulks up this turn but no he just goes straight for the dynamic punch, so that's going to take me out. But, however, I am going to be able to then use this as a free uh, turn to go into my Rotom, not having to take any damage switching in. And he's going to go for the bulk up now, but I got off the Will-O-Wisp, so now that's going to cut his attack in half, as well as be giving him residual damage from both the Burn and the Sandstorm, so he's really not going to last that long. I'm going to go ahead for the Thunderbolt, and he's just going to have to probably spam um, the Ice Punch, because that's really the only thing that he has to hit me. And uh, he's going to now be taken out from the uh, combined sandstorm burn damage. So it's looking very nice. I still have my Rotom above half HP. So uh, I really know that I'm going to be able to still, you know, he's going to be very usable within the game. Now here he goes for a sto stone edge. And the fact that that didn't do very much tells me that he's probably scarfed. Um, I go ahead for the Willow. And I know with that Will-O-Wisp, he's going to be doing jack shit to me. I should be able to live another Stone Edge, barring he doesn't get the crit. He doesn't, so that's great. I'm able to just go ahead for the Pain Split, gain back a whole bunch of health, and take him down. Now here, I didn't really have much to hit him with. So I could have stayed in, go for the Shadow Ball, but I decided I'm just going to want to switch out to my Swampert. And... Um, kind of predicting that he might switch as well because I didn't really see the point of him staying in any longer but um, at this point he's just going to go ahead 
go for that stone edge. He gets a crit with the burn. It's not going to do jack to me. I'm going to roar him out now into a scissor. And this was part of it. I really didn't want to have him being in the situation where he could trap my Rotom um, with uh, at such low HP, which was the main reason I went to the Swampert. He makes a pretty big mistake. Goes for the Pursuit, I guess thinking that I maybe would switch out, but because of that, I'm going to be able to survive just well enough to get off a nice surf with the boosted torrent damage since I am so low on HP. He's then going to switch into a Starmie, which probably is, should have been what he went into to begin with. And um, again, at this point, I have nothing really to switch in that's going to it's going to want to switch in on Starmie. So I just go ahead, sack the Swamper as he goes for the Psychic, and uh, again, let that Starmie just take more damage. Now I have my Scissor here, and this is my special Scissor. I like to throw in every so often to throw people off. Hasn't been quite as useful since uh, Latias went Uber, but uh, either way, right there, I'm able to pull off a free U-turn, which he, I'm sure he definitely did not expect, and I knew he was going to want to stay in, thinking that I'd go for the pursuit. But uh, now I'm going to be in a real nice spot, get to be in my Fern Ape, and go for the Mach Punch to take down his Mammoth Swine. So once again, looking very good on his last poke, his Scizor. He's just going to go ahead for the Bullet Punch. I know I'm going to be able to live that just fine since I resist the steel type move and go for the close combat so that is very cool so great game Pirate King Victor guys make sure to go check him out I'll leave his link in the description below also make sure to go check out Chase McAwesome for the cool intros and uh, guys I still am accepting um, if anybody wants to try and make me an intro if it's cool and I like it I will use it in one of my battles and um, yeah comment, like, subscribe. Peace out.